It means no worries for the rest of your days. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and I am here to talk to you guys about The Lion King. <laughs> National Friendship Day is on the 30th of July this month, so Craig and I have come to Silly World to celebrate, and we're gonna go watch The Lion King. <laughs> Yay! So we obviously need cinema snacks, and Silly World have recently just changed their frozen slush to Icy's, and we had Icy's in Florida, and they're amazing, they're so good, so I'm really, really glad that Silly World are doing Icy's here now, because yes, I totally mixed the two flavors. There's raspberry and there's, I don't know, blue and pink. I mixed the two. What are you getting, Craig? Blue. It's blue. Just blue. Just blue. Yeah. Are you enjoying your ice? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so, ices are ready. Popcorn is ready. Let's go see The Lion King. I will let you guys know what I think of The Lion King when we get back home. Mm. I am so excited for National Friendship Day. It's fun. What can I say about the Lion King? I'm gonna be a mighty king, so enemies beware. Well, I've never seen a king of beasts with quite so little hair. So I'm gonna talk about the Lion King live action. Cineworld very, very kindly sent me off to see the Lion King. So I have seen it at Cineworld and checked out the live action. It was, it was good, it was good. I had really, 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 really high hopes for it though. So my bar was set extremely high. So The Lion King is such a classic Disney movie. The original one came out in 1994. I was only five at the time, so I have huge memories of going to the cinema to see it at the cinema when it first was released in 1994. And this is really, really showing my age now. You can see how old I am from using your maths. It was such a good, good, classic Disney film. I know all the songs off by heart. I know loads of the lines, probably all of the lines. And it was just, it's such a good movie. You'll be really hard pressed to find anyone who hasn't seen the original Lion King, cried their eyes out, sung along to the songs, felt every feel they could possibly feel when Simba loses Mufasa and feels like it's all his fault. There's so many different parts of the story that people can relate to and it really does make you feel Disney is one of those companies that have storytelling down to a T. They know exactly what to do to pull at your heartstrings. They know exactly what to do to make you feel exactly how they want you to feel. And that is exactly why I think they are redoing so many of their different classics as new live action remakes. So originally with the live actions, I was always quite skeptical about like, if they're gonna live up to the expectations, if they're going to be as good as the originals. And I'll be the first to admit where I have been wrong in some occasions. <laughs> with Aladdin, I was so, so, so excited to see Aladdin and that really, really didn't disappoint me. There were a lot of people that weren't too convinced when they saw the first trailer for the live action Aladdin and it literally blew me out the water how good Aladdin was. So having seen that and now with the Lion King coming out, the Lion King has been, it's, it's, it's over 20 years old. It's there's a lot of history there. There are a lot of fans. There is a huge fandom. There's the musical on Broadway and the West End. There is Lion King mania everywhere. So let's talk about the live action. <laughs> uh, okay, so the live action Lion King. Spoiler alert, there will be spoilers. But I don't think they really count as spoilers because everyone has seen the original animation and the live action is pretty much shot by shot exactly the same. So there is, there's no surprises in the live action, so I don't think this is much of a spoiler. Okay, so opening scene. I'm absolutely positively certain that that opening piece of music, thank you Charlene for pointing this out, the opening piece of music, I don't know the words, but it is in Zulu, it's African Zulu, I think it is. Swahili. No, but Zulu. Is the like the name of the, the language? No. No. Swahili is the name of the language. Is it? Zulu is a tribe. Well, it's a Zulu tribesman. That's that's <clears throat> fine. Swahili. It's in Swahili, not Zulu. I don't know. I I've done some research, but clearly my research has not been hundred percent accurate. So that piece of music, when the sun is setting, 
No, the sun is rising. It's not setting, it's rising. And all you can hear is I don't know the words. I just know that that's what it sounds like. That piece of music, the vocalist, they've used the, I think it's the exact same track from the original animation. So you immediately from the get go, get straight back into that Lion King vibe. You know that you're gonna feel a lot of feels in this movie. And just watching that opening scene when you can see all of the, the, the different animals that are coming up to Pride Rock so that they can witness the display of the new pr prince. He's a prince, right? Simba's a prince, because Mufasa's a king. The new prince, Simba. Baby Simba, little cub Simba. He is adorable, by the way. Super duper cute. Really, really cute. And yeah, so it's shot by shot. So there's like, even the way they've done it is exactly the same. So the angles, so there's like a point when like, it's really, really blurry in one bit and you can see some animals walking along and then the animals go blurry and the bit that was blurry in the front. So the focus has changed, in, but in the same shot. And it's exactly the same as it was in the original, but in this one, you've got like the live action animals. I think it's incredible how detailed the new live action is. It's, it, you can see like all the different strands of fur on the animals. There was a point when the giraffes were like leaning down to, to bow to, the, to baby Simba, and you could see all of the different hairs on their neck. And it was just incredible. So visually, I think it was absolutely stunning. I loved the visuals of The Lion King. It was so good. And the score is obviously the same as it was in the original, but there are some new little bits. And if you've got the Spirit soundtrack album that Beyonce has released, then you will know what the additional songs are. But yeah, so, Ness. Yes, no surprises there. Anyway, all in all, I absolutely enjoyed The Lion King. I absolutely enjoyed the Lion King live action. It was a fun movie to watch. It was really cool to see how it's been updated from hand-drawn 2D animation to seriously detailed, realistic visions of animals having conversations with each other. There were a few little flaws, I would say. Some of the emotion was a little bit missing in different parts of it. So when Simba sounds sad or he's saying something sad and he doesn't seem very, he doesn't seem happy, because you're looking at a lion cub, lion cubs in real life, they, they can't display human emotions the way the 2D animation had done in 1994. I am beginning to sweat really badly, it's hot. It's 26 degrees, and I'm sat in front of lights. I feel like I'm in the African savannah. Okay, I've cooled down a little bit. Okay, so I really did enjoy The Lion King. I loved being able to compare it to the original animation because it was literally scene by scene exactly the same. The only difference was some of the actors. I love that James L. Jones was back to play Mufasa. That added some real, literally real feels because you can you can hear Mufasa's voice and you can see Mufasa. And now we have two different versions of Mufasa and they're both played by the same guy. I love that. I think that's amazing. Oh, my favorite thing, my favorite thing about the live action Lion King is how different the hyenas are done. You had the three main hyenas in the original, I can't remember their names, but one of them is called Eddie. And in this one, there are still like, this, there's like the three main-ish ones, but it has changed and one of them is seriously evil. Very, very dark hyena. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that because it made it a little bit more scary. Be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Is in the live action, but it is not the same as it was in the original. So be prepared for that. Be prepared. I'm just preparing you for that. So be prepared. <laughs> Anyway, all in all, really good. Definitely go check it out. I would say like seven, eight out of 10. I mean, you're gonna see it. If you're a Disney fan, you're gonna see it. If you're a Lion King fan, you are gonna see it. So getting back to Cineworld, I am a huge, huge movie buff and I love Cineworld. We are actually like been looking for a place to, to, to move to and one of our things, there has to be a Cineworld nearby because we are both Cineworld Unlimited members. So having a Cineworld nearby is definitely on our list of reasons why we would move somewhere. And luckily, the place we're moving to has a Cineworld nearby, which is great. And just in case I forgot to mention already, National Friendship Day is coming up on the 30th of July. And what better way to celebrate National Friendship Day than by celebrating with friends and 
going to the cinema to see The Lion King. So I completely recommend doing it. There are so many different options at Cineworld. We booked our tickets to do VIP for The Lion King because why not go all out? It's 35 pounds to do VIP and that includes like a all you can eat buffet, food, drinks, snacks, popcorn, everything you need if you're going VIP and then you get like the reclining seats are really comfy and cushy, it's nice. But if you don't want to do that, there is also 4DX, IMAX, there are so many different ways that you can enjoy films at Cineworld that make it so much better than anywhere else. If you are thinking about going to see The Lion King anytime soon, I will put links in the description down below if you want to book your tickets at Cineworld and get yourself sorted for National Friendship Day. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments down below if you have seen the new live action Lion King let me know your thoughts on it and let's have a little discussion. Did you prefer the original or the brand new live action Lion King? And I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Thank you again, Cineworld. Thank you so much for our tickets. And yes, love you. Mwah! Bye! Kuna Matana. What a wonderful frame. I couldn't have it in it. Ain't no passing craze It means no worries For the rest of your days